Um, I think communication is always relevant and starting the school year off with some useful tips and ideas for designing engaging visual communications is always going to be valuable. Um, how we communicate with our community helps build school culture, so the visual aspect is an important piece to that. I think that keeping in mind the perspective of your audience is key. When you work with adults who are very busy and need to maximize their time, it's always a good idea to design communications to support them in this. Little things like how long it takes to consume important messages uh, can send a message that your time is valued and respected as an educator. Um, when the school community knows that their time is valued, they'll be happier and more productive in the workplace. One thing colleagues always notice and, and talk to me about is the content and length of emails, like school-wide emails and things like this. Some are too wordy, some aren't wordy enough, some are too casual, while others give a bad impression, or some give a great impression. At the same time, during staff meetings and PDs, I know it's always appreciated by my fellow staff members when visuals are clear and supportive of the presenter's message, rather than in competition with it. Um, these things may seem trivial and simple, but uh, they don't always come easy to everyone. So these are a few of the things I'm going to focus on in my session. I'm really looking forward to chatting with Amanda Link about play-based pedagogy in high school. I, I'm currently a new high school uh, technology or digital learning coach, and I'm looking for ways to infuse learning with inquiry and imagination while still ensuring students are prepared for DP requirements. I'm also very excited to see Ceci Gomez-Galvez. Um, I want to see what she has in store for student voice. She's an energizing presenter and I'm sure it's going to be an amazing session. So I can't wait.